Welcome, I'm Ian Baker, and chances are, if you're watching this video, you have a Schwinn Tech, also known as a worm gear driven slide that is stuck out. I'm going to help you bring that slide in so you're not stuck out at the campsite. As is often the case, this controller is located underneath the slide. Uh, you will see this front slide fascia. It's actually behind that mounted to the slide right back here. So it is a little tricky to reach because as that slide comes in, you have to be out of the way. So you kind of have to be up on the bed, do a reach. Again, it's a little tough uh, and it's definitely hard for us to film it. So luckily we're here at the Camping World uh, Technical Institute. So we have a cutaway that way you get a little better view. All right, so this right here is that box you are looking for. Um, as you will see, it might be a little tough to read here, but you can find it in the owner's manual as well. There are different faults, and more often than not, if your slide is not working, as I mentioned, it's generally not a mechanical issue. It's something happened with the controller, the motors got out of sync, uh, didn't count the revolutions correctly, something happened, and a lot of times you will see that fault right here based upon how many times this uh, light is blinking. Now to manually override it, it actually shows you, and it says it right on here, it's nice and simple. Um, and it, in case you forget, it shows you, you're gonna push the button six times, hold down on the seventh, press until the lights start to flash. And then you will use the normal slide control switch located inside to retract the room. So that button is right there, that's why we have our pen. We're gonna, and you're gonna push and hold just like that. You're gonna hold it until the lights blink. Uh, I'm not gonna do it in this particular case, but you'll wanna push it until the lights start blinking. That will let you know you're in manual override, and then you will simply hit that retract button. There are some other things you can do as well. Uh, I personally don't recommend them just because you can cause damage to your RV. Um, I have been told, I've never tested it, but you can flip these two around right here. These are your switch controls, okay? Your extend and retract. If you flip those around, it will reverse the controls on the switch. Sometimes that will, for whatever reason, reset it and help bring it back in, in the event this doesn't work. The reason I don't recommend doing that, folks, is as soon as you take these off, you remove the stops on this unit and you can cause a lot of damage to your slides. If you bring it in too far, you can damage the outside. If you extend it too far, you can actually drop the slide box out of the side of your RV and that is obviously something we certainly don't want to have happen. If you found this video helpful, please make sure you hit that like button. Also, if you have a family member or friend that has an RV with a Schwinn Tech slide, be sure to send them this video, share it with them so that they can save it. In the event that anything ever happens, they'll know how to manually bring their slide in. Also, if you like this video and you would like to see more how-to and troubleshooting information, be sure to subscribe to the channel so you can be one of the first ones to see brand new content. Thanks again for watching, folks. I'm Ian Baker. Until next time, we'll see you later.